So we got a very interesting device called a Mezzo uh, by a company called Hozo Design. So this is basically a, a laser distant measuring device uh, that was available for crowdfunding on Kickstarter. And this relates to my profession. So those who don't know, I actually have a very small company that provides a digital floor plan for both commercial and uh, domestic properties and I get paid by providing those um, files to my client uh, using AutoCAD that is of course and um, past 15 years I've been using this device called Distro D2 by a company called Leica so everyone knows when it comes to laser mission, uh, Leica is one of the most reliable device and so on. And it's very compact. It kind of sums up what sort of thing I go for. Um, but I always wanted something that could be placed on a tripod that could rotate around to get the uh, outline of a building, if you see what I mean. And I was always waiting for what would be the next technology that could help my profession to provide better floor plan with better accuracy. And I think this uh, Meso will do exactly uh, what I was expect what I'm actually expecting from it. So uh, this has the industry lead MCU processor, um, has a long lasting battery life um, and a precision rotate sensor and it has accuracy level of plus minus two millimeters which is very good. I do know what that means but I'm not sure about what the MCU processor is but um, it could also measure the curve uh, scanning and um, floor plan scanning obviously that's what I'm doing it for and um, you can see from the front screen it does have this tripod slot uh, that indicates that it could be rotate, rotated around the tripod so I'm very excited about it I just want to find out whether this will upgrade uh, the way how I measure uh, floor plan and also uh, quicken things up if you see what I mean so more quicker I could do more money I can make if you see what I mean uh, so let's get into the unboxing so here it goes you're gonna come in knife on its way so it should be a pretty easy right so the moment of truth I like the package it kind of reminds me of those Apple uh, device wow so this is how the actual device is good weight but before we get into the main device we've got the um instruction it's like um you know those motorola um mobile phone in the old days that's what it is but this is a bit of an instruction that you guys could always pause and have a quick look uh, because this will be very important if you see what i mean so i'll do the other side as well Okay, so after that, what we have is, ah, so that must be the screwdriver or something. Um, so let's have a look. Yeah, some sort of like a screwdriver for joints, I pre presume. And that has a symbol of a tripod. So if we were to open it up, thing, but okay. So it's a mini tripod. <laughs> Uh, I was expecting a longer tripod, but okay. But that's quite universal anyway, so you could always um, find other alternative, but that's the tripod. And lastly, we got the uh, cable for charging. And this is the USB-C cable, which I have plenty uh, of those and so on. So that's pretty much it. So to the main device, uh, let's First, take this one out again very good weight I like things with a good weight on um, we could probably take that out later on but okay so immediately you can see that this like rotate things so I presume that's used for measuring curves uh, on the back side we've got the tripod sort of joints here oh I see look at that that rotates around so probably that's how you detect it detects the position on the 360 degrees. Uh, that's the uh, USB-C plug there. I think that's just for the rubbery support um, when you place it on the flat surface. And I presume this is the power on button. Oh, and um, obviously we've got the laser measuring here. Okay. And the you got to set up the language. I think millimeter centimeter is what I want, so you need to do that. So the first function is laser measurer. Um, the second one actually is the scale ruler point scanner. Now that would be quite interesting one. I think it's the one that 
you can actually rotate around and then get the 360 degrees we'll see curve scanner as well uh, level so you can actually work out the level um, protractor pro laser and um, settings and so on so let's go into settings what sort of thing you can actually download the app so you need to make sure you got the app and the units as well you can change it to any of those but i do actually prefer millimeters metric art uh, metric english you can actually differentiate the scale as well a language as well and the meso about and etc okay so now on the uh, laser measure settings and on the app i just press the drawing project and then what I need to do is the element side, we just press the door because this is a door here and this is not exactly one meter. So to find out, just click on the laser measure and then tap record. You have to press the center of the screen, by the way. So you can see the red dots against here to there. If I tap the center of the screen, it says 857. So I have to choose the door, Bluetooth connected there. Um, okay, so back and then you can manually by pressing on lock lock put in the measurements of 857 857 uh, millimeters done so that's the one next one is actually the same line with the door so i'll do it is um, press x and then measure it so i got 606 so then press the bluetooth so what i'll do is, is actually import it to the app and then what i need to do is just line it up there easy simple okay so done next one so we're going to measure the from here to that wall there can you see the red red dot there so then i press the center of the screen i got 1.8 uh, meters so i press the bluetooth this is same as like i'm pretty sure so i just want to show you but then again we if you look at the ceiling it's slightly angled so um, what you need to do is use this app to kind of change it i'm just going to use my gut feeling that it's going to be about that much and all i need to do is move it and then unlock and lock and we got that one there so the next one is perpendicular to this wall to there so all i need to do is press x and then you can see the red dot actually reaching there make sure that's reached and then press the button on there and i got 4.1 meters and then press the bluetooth button again so it's imported imported then i need to do is sort of make it almost perpendicular to that and there actually i'm not quite happy with that but anyhow i could still rotate it and leave it there and unlock and go on and then on the element side we could do wall window sorry window door and stairs and etc so that's how it works so once i'm happy with the drawing all i need to do is press those three lines and then i saved it under ljp tech so if you long hold on it you get this symbol of this uh, flying plane and then you got an option of sending it to as PDF, JPEG or DWX. So if I actually, that's the CAD format. So I could actually send it by email and that's pretty much it. All right, so the next function is scale ruler. So all you need to do is press the center of the button and then tap to record. So we're using this wheel uh, to measure up the length. Um, so, okay, I already missed that, but if we put it to zero and then if you want to measure the um, the length of this box for example please do remind yourself that there's a blue light there so if we start from this corner and then move along and then we kind of stopped it's about 140 uh, millimeters okay so that's what you do and then if you want to put it onto the bluetooth you just need to press the bluetooth button length import so that's all you need to do. All right, so for the point scanner, let's select that and then tap to record. So you'll see from the wall here, there's a red dot. So I need what I need to do is press the button here to first one and then it goes blank. And then we go to the second one there and then we go to press the tap again. So you can see there's a tiny line shown in there. Then I'm going to do is rotate it so that it goes to see this is the problem here you got to make sure there's no obstacles on its way so I got to make sure I go to that corner there and then tap and then you'll see from here that there's this line shown there already so then we're going to go to the interesting line which is over here 
and then I got, I got to press the tap. And then you can see that from here, there's already uh, another line there. So then we're going to go on, rotate it around to this line here, and then tap. And then this one, which is the corner of the window there. And then I'm going to do another one there. And then that one there is going to that corner there of the kitchen unit. And then the, this is the problem here with this boss. So the fridge is actually blocking the line of, um, of the red dot. So I can't really get the edge of that corner of that kitchen there. We just press it there. And then I go back. Let's just quicken up this whole process to the original point here. So you can see that the, uh, it shows the outline of the room overall. So all I need to do is press this button here, which is download, and then press the Bluetooth. So we've got the file here popping up. And then if I import that, right. So you can see a very interesting um, shape of the room with all the measurements on as well. Okay, so this is the most Im interesting one, which is the curve scanner. So if you have any curvy walls, or if you're not sure how to measure it, this is what you use. But if we click on it, you have to calibrate on your tripod. So let's wait until it's calibrated. Okay, come on. Now, you've got to tap to record. And then you can see the red light already on that door there. So I'm what I'm going to do is rotate it around. Rotate it around as you can see. It's rotating around, but unfortunately, um, you can see that's actually that that bookshelf is actually being an obstacle. That guitar as well, um, but you can see on this screen itself as I'm rotating around, it's creating the shape of the outline of the building. Okay. So I'm not sure whether you'll be able to measure the window. That's why I just want to highlight a lot of lasers actually miss it out. But the problem is, is that you got to make sure the site that you're going to measure is clear out of all of these. Otherwise, you're not going to get the exact um, outline of the whole building. Anyhow, so if we go back to the main point of where we started, that's where we are. So if we go back to here, that's the shape. I mean, that dip there, unfortunately, it was part of me actually standing on its way, but you could get, you get the picture of the outline of the building. So basically you just press the download and then Bluetooth. And that's pretty much it. So the next one is level. So if I were to press that, basically it asked me to place it onto the surface to calibrate. So we can see that the digit is actually here on the front and back. It's actually 0.7 to, it's actually moving because I'm actually pressing it, but 0.2 and 0.1. So if I were to lift it up here, you can see the digit is actually changing as I move it around. Now the protractor should be pretty straightforward as well. So if I click that, um, and then yeah, it shows the description of how it could be used. So I could actually turn on the laser as a guidance. So that's actually pointing on the edge here. And then if I were to move it around, there you go. So that's about 55 degrees. Um, and then if I were to change it to minutes, that's the same sort of almost digit as well. So that's for the protractor. So for the pro laser side, there are two functions mainly, but um, for the Pythagorean side, um, I'm not sure if I'm using it 100% correctly, but if I were to cl click on it, um, I think you can actually measure from the edge here to there. So that's 100, 203 millimeters. I click on it, and the next one, which is here, that is 192 millimeters. I click on it, and then in the result, you'll get 41 degrees. But if you actually, you also get the length of it as well. So remember we actually had 140 mil of the length of the box. That's the measurement it gives you. So that's how it works. So if we go back to the pro laser again, the second function that is available is the area mode. So in other words, this will be very helpful for the agents who want to measure the area of the space. So you can measure four surface of the room. So that is first measurement you make, that will be the length of the first and then second, 
and the third so that's how actually how it gives you the total area of the space if you see what I mean so that's quite cool but it only works on the square it seems so far and you can actually download that as well under the record to your app so for someone who provides a floor plan in a professional field um, we are known to provide a 25 millimeters or 30 millimeters in an accuracy of a difference of about two to three uh, millimeters if you see what i mean so it's very accurate floor plan we can provide but to be able to achieve that um, we need to actually measure every single angles and the nibs that are actually coming out as well and then do check measurement and so on but i can't really see how uh, using the laser measurement with the mixture of app could actually uh, quicken things up because time is really the essence on this whole game and um, regards to the point measuring you have to really make sure that there's no obstacle whatsoever you would have noticed early on when i was doing point measurements or the curve measurements there were so many obstacles here and i know it's a domestic property but imagine if you're trying to measure a particular domestic property it's going to be a big problem so you have to go back to the old school way of using this laser measurement but um the way how you hold it up, which is like two of your fingers this way and then click it, it just, I, I find it quite difficult and the touch sensitivity of the screen sometimes is not really that um, good. You have to be very careful. You press the top side of sliding and the, sorry, top side of pressing to make the decision and the bottom side to scroll it, if you see what I mean. And that doesn't seem to be concordant 100%, but it's, it's pretty good actually. Um, it's a very good price. And um, for to get to be able to get that function of Bluetooth measuring from using a Leica, I think you have to spend at least 500 British pounds. But this, I believe, I spent under 200 pounds and and can be able to do this sort of like convert into Bluetooth and so on. The Leica, for example, can measure up to three measurements, or maybe some of them could actually do four to five. This one you have to do single at a time. So that's where the time consuming is happening, if you see what I mean. But the curve measurement is very good. Um, it actually can map it out the overall shape of the building. That's where you're gonna find it very, very useful because even though you're hand-drawn and you're very experienced in the field, you can never figure out the angle of the wall uh, unless you have this professional device like this and that will be very come very handy but when it comes to the speed of measuring uh, several measurements i rather prefer using the leica the old school by doing the hand drawing and, and so on so my overall thought is i think this is a perfect uh, gift or tool for surveyors but for professional uh, space uh, floor plan provider for for 2d or 3d cad uh, experts like myself I wouldn't recommend it but um, if you were to ask me what sort of suggestion I would like to make for this device for the upgraded version is um, why don't I do this does that make sense which is basically the laser constantly measuring the distance as I move around the spaces and it will actually import it into my um, app and then map things out that will actually revolutionize the whole professional field on my professional field because you would imagine someone like me will be given a job up to 100,000 square meters of a, uh, of a shopping center and by doing this and immediately importing it into the app and then convert it into a DWG or DXF that's going to be so cool and that's going to save so much of our money and, and so on. So, so design, if I'm sure you have the capacity to be able to develop that and if you do, please do let me know and I'm really happy to prepare good money for it because that's going to revolutionize our job in our industry as well. So I hope I made a healthy criticism here. Um, actually, I got a few more to add, unfortunately, which is that uh, the tripod itself is too short. I don't know how you're gonna use this. Um, the, also the uh, charging port, I don't understand why it needs to be on the bottom. It could always be on the sideways because if you're in the bottom and you're running out of battery, you won't be able to rotate it for the point measuring and the curve measurement. Um, but overall, it, the build quality is really good. Um, and um, the weight is very good as well. Anyhow, if you have any criticism about my criticism about this product or if you have any opinions or qu queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video and look forward to hear the response from Hozo Design. All the best. Bye-bye. <laughs>